other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he gives you the little baby one. Yes. <laughs> So they got you up early this morning, huh? Yeah. Just like My body was there. I don't know if the mind was there, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Just like being on the set, huh? It was early morning Hilarious. calls. So Atlanta and then back home? Or? Atlanta, then New York for a couple of days, then L.A. Oh. Then back to New York. Oh, good. So we have like about yeah. a week. All right. Well, Marissa Tomei, welcome to Dallas. Thank you. I really appreciate the fact that you came here to visit with us instead of us having to go visit with you as we've done in the past. My pleasure. Although that was nice too. <laughs> here to talk about what women want. And uh, you, we could spend the whole time, you know, what do women want? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've been I, asked that question on this tour. So <laughs> when you say, when people say, what does Marissa Tomei want? What do you say? <laughs> well, I usually say the, what the movie is saying is that, um, that women want to be listened to, which, which I agree with. I mean, li listen to, heard, really. And uh, we love a good conversation. I find I love a good conversation. And um, the movie also talks about good sex, and I think that's a plus. And um, Mel told me that he thinks that we want, that women want your soul as a man. They want your attention, and they want hug and us. <laughs> and I think, that he, I, was, I think he knows women very well, actually. <laughs> In this film, you are playing a coffee shop waitress. Mm -hmm. Mel keeps asking, his character keeps asking you for a date, and you keep turning him down. Now, in the very beginning, people are saying, what's her problem? <laughs> My, I'm playing it smart because he, he's a cad. He's a total womanizer, so I try to, try to play it smart. Well, and then as it goes on, we find out that you've been hurt, and you just right. are protecting yourself. Yes. I've been hurt and I've been protecting myself, but he's still got those blue eyes. <laughs> the premise of the movie is, of course, that something extraordinary happens to Mel's character, uh -huh. and then he is able to hear women's thoughts, their silent thoughts. And then somehow he manipulates your character around, mm -hmm. and you do go out with him. Mm -hmm. Yes, as soon as he gets his um, powers to hear what women are really about. He promptly uses them to manipulate as many women as he can. <laughs> but you do have a romantic interlude with him. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Oh, I have quite a romantic, inter a romantic interlude. <laughs> it's a sexual liberation <laughs> for both parties. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how good a kisser is Mel? Ten. Probably shouldn't say that. Save something for the mystery. Nine and a half. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe ten plus. <laughs> I have not been kissed by Mel, but um, well, you know. I read in I read in um, I think it was in Linda Obst's book, book or an, another a woman producer's book. They talked about Diane Keaton having to kiss him and how great Diane, <laughs> Diane was raving about what a great kisser he was. And then I heard Rene Russo talking about him. So we'll just form a little club, a little Lonely Hearts Club. <laughs> <laughs> the Mel Gibson Kissing Fan Club. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. Did you ever work as a waitress? I, I did, but I, it was a cocktail waitress. I worked as a cocktail waitress. Where? Um, it, at a catering hall. In Brooklyn, and so how was bar that? mitzvahs, sweet sixteens, weddings. It was fun. <laughs> I'm not a very good waitress. I wasn't then, anyway. Well, you played a waitress Got also. A second shot at it. <laughs> you played a waitress also in Untamed Heart. Yes, I did. Yes, at the diner there with Rosie Perez. Yeah. Yes, I played a waitress there. So you're experienced. Yeah. Yeah, you could join the, the union. I, can, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I have been around Mel a lot, and mm -hmm. even with the press, or at least with me, he's always joking. You know, you ask him a question, and then he's always joking around and mm -hmm. giving you the answer. So is he like that on the set? I, he is like that on the set. It, it's, it's, he's extremely professional and an extremely great actor even better than he is a kisser. Like, that's the prior. He's so good. And it's so good to play in a scene with him. And the set is very light because he, he does joke around, like you're saying, um, but always with that professionality and that focus underneath it all. And, um, yeah, I, he made me laugh a lot. Keeps the set lively and, and kind yeah. of loose. Especially yeah. during a comedy, it's nice to have that, that laughter. We have not seen Mel Gibson in this kind of comedy. Did he surprise you or his performance surprise you? The dancing. He really pulled that out of the sky. That was that's so incredible because I was there and he was telling me, oh, I'm going to go learn how to dance now. I was like, what do you mean you're going to learn how to dance? He's like, I just, I don't dance. So he has this choreographer there and... He's, he learned it with, within a week. It's, it's fabulous. It's a great takeoff. It's kind of an amalgamation of Gene Kelly and Fred Astaire because Fred Astaire did that hat rack. Fred did the hat thing. rack. And Gene, he kind of has more of the body of Gene. Yeah. Well, it's a highlight of the film, isn't yeah. it? It's really great. Yeah. You won an Oscar in 1992 for my cousin Vinny. Now, where do you keep that Oscar? I keep that Oscar on my little dressing table in my bathroom in New York. So I have all these perfume bottles and little things, and it's just kind of mixed in there. And Oscar is there overseeing the perfume. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> overseeing the dressing up. <laughs> but. Uh, as you look back on that night, can you remember yeah. how you felt and can you remember all the things that were going on around you? A lot of it I can't remember because it was such a whirlwind and so such high emotion. Um, but I, 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 had, I was elated. I was elated. It was so wonderful. And um, I remember being, uh, I remember tripping up the stairs of Kane's. <laughs> um, I remember uh, I, I remember that I was that Joe Pesci met me right in the wings of as soon as I got off the stage he was right there to see me and and he said come on let, I found a phone let's go call your mom. And oh your mom was, wasn't uh, there. No she wasn't there with me she was in New York and so I got to call her right away. My brother was with me and um, it was just it was just a great night. It had to be a euphoria unlike any that you had before or since, I guess. A certain kind of euphoria. We, yes, in in, the, in your create in your business life kind of definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You um, in 1994 you did a movie a uh, Norman Jewison movie. I thought I had seen every movie Norman Jewison ever made yeah. including the outtakes, but I missed this one. <laughs> Only you. Uh-huh. And you worked with Robert Downey Jr. Uh -huh. What was he like then? He as he is now is an incredible genius. He's a, an amazing amazing actor and uh, he was he inspired me every scene that we did together. He made everything that we did a hundred times better. He's just so smart and so funny and very, very professional. And I know him too through the years and have such respect for him as an mm -hmm. actor. And it makes me just so sick that, you know, something can't be done to help this man get his life together. Yeah, I, th I know he's, he's trying hard and I, I, I feel he will. And he is. He's made a lot of changes made a lot of changes. Well, I hope he comes through this latest one okay. And But yeah. most of all, I just want him to get well and yeah. stay well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, Marissa, again, I must tell you, I love this movie. And I love your performance. Thank I think you. you're just absolutely <laughs> perfect for the role. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know who else I'd put in there. Thank you. And uh, I hope the film does well for all of you. Thanks. And people are going to be in for a big surprise when they see Mel Gibson in <laughs> comedy. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you. Just stay where you are. Stay
stages of his yeah. problem and yeah. rehab. And when he had it together there for a while, yeah. he, he seemed so happy and yeah. so content. Yeah. And, and, uh, and I just thought, oh, you know what? I, I really did. I just hugged him when I left. I said, yeah. I'm so happy to see you well. Yeah. And then, you know, I don't think we understand that problem. No, we do I agree. not understand it. Yeah, because he's such a treasure and something oh. about the way that we're approaching. Oh, wait, wait a minute, we're, s we're shooting. Yeah. Uh, also, it's a great I'm treasure. Old man will get a little more sound if you can use the intercut for cut shots. So if you want to go back to the question, and we'll use the answer on this and where the reversals we want. Um, you want me to ask, re-ask a question that I did that ask? That you do want to use, yes. And we'll use a two shot, go to a one shot for editing purposes. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know, we don't have a lot of time. We need to You're keep welcome. it rolling. Okay. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, how good a kisser <laughs> is Mel Gibson? <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, how good a kisser is Mel Gibson? I... I'm going to say nine because I really mean ten, but I want to save some of the mystery. <laughs> <laughs> That's, great. That's great. That's great. Okay, let's do the reverses now. We're rolling. Yep, we're rolling. Your character is a coffee shop waitress. And uh, she keeps turning Mel Gibson down when he asks her for a date, and the audience is going, "Is she crazy or what?" <laughs> and then we find out why you keep turning him down. Yes, well, I eagle eye. Let me tell you, yeah. <laughs> yes, I miss a thing. You're rolling. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your character is a coffee shop waitress, and Mel Gibson keeps asking her for dates, and she keeps turning him down, mm -hmm. and we think. Are you crazy or what? <laughs> and then we find out why she turns him down. Well, yes, because she's she's been hurt so many times, and um, she knows that. Do I have to keep talking? Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. no, that's fine. <laughs> I can't remember if that's the way I <laughs> that's started. Fine. Or, okay. This is one I forgot to ask you, but let's try it. And I can B-roll it. Okay. Um, would you like to be able to hear other people's thoughts? I, I'm on the fence of, about this one. I think I would like it once in a while to hear men's thoughts. Maybe on special occasions. Maybe when my birthday's coming up, find out what he's getting me. <laughs> you could have an on-off switch. Yes, absolutely necessary. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. All right. Did you ever work as a waitress? I worked as a cocktail waitress, actually. Slinging it's drinks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> I find in interviews that Mel Gibson is always joking around. Is he like that on the set? Yes, he is. He's very, very funny. He's very quick-witted, and he's very curious about everything, so his mind is always racing and making you laugh. Were you surprised at how good Mel Gibson could do comedy? Uh, no, I was not surprised. I was not surprised at all how good he could do comedy. He's, I see it in other elements of his work very strongly. Did Mel Gibson dance before this? Um, I don't think that he he did. Yeah, it'll cut with something. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I feel like you're setting me up here, no, honey. No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. I, I know where it'll cut. Okay. I, I know where it will cut. Okay. Where do you keep the Oscar you won for my cousin Vinny? <laughs> I actually keep it on my uh, little dressing table in my um, bathroom with all the bottles, perfume bottles. In 1994, you worked with Robert Downey Jr. in Only You, a Norman Jewison picture. What was he like then, Robert Downey Jr.? He was, uh, he was a, a consummate professional and, and, and so such a genius of talent and a very, very, and a real sweetheart. Okay. I think that's I got need it. To kiss her for gut shots for Oh, to ask yes. again here? All right. On a scale of one, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> 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 
on a scale of one to ten, how good a kisser is Mel Gibson? You want to hear me say it again? <laughs> a ten. Eat your heart out. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I 